Let's summarize what we've learned. IFTA is a program designed for the collection and distribution of fuel tax amongst jurisdictions in the United States and Canada. Number two, who needs IFTA? Well, we found out that commercial vehicles which meet the definition of an IFTA qualified vehicle and they have to travel between two or more jurisdictions. Number three, IFTA license and decals. Every IFTA carrier needs a license and a set of two decals per vehicle which are issued by their base jurisdiction. Number four, IFTA is based on distance traveled and fuel purchased and these numbers form the basis for quarterly tax reports filed with the carrier's base jurisdiction. Number five, consumption is determined by dividing the fleet distance by the total fuel purchased. The fleet MPG is then used to calculate consumption by jurisdiction, which leads to number six, the IFTA quarterly return, and that's where all the netting of the taxes takes place. The totals are derived from consumption, less tax paid to give a net tax due either a debit or credit, and these numbers are filed on a quarterly tax return with the carrier's base jurisdiction. Number seven, the IFTA clearinghouse is where all the distribution between the jurisdictions happens. The carrier sends their information to their base jurisdiction, and then in turn the base jurisdiction files their numbers with the IFTA clearinghouse, and everybody gets their money. Wow, that's a lot.